including heat race number two of our super mods. And your starters and drivers are as follows. Chris Ray in the 87 car lines up on pole against Lance Bieber in the 14 machine. The state champ of Grant Campbell has graced us with his presence here on night number two. He starts from the inside second row with the 58 car of Daryl Smith. Then we go back to car... Again, the numbers are hard to read, but it's Wayne Bingham in the 23 car. He was having issues trying to keep that thing in a straight line yesterday. So we'll see how he goes from the inside third row. So we're set for a start in heat race number two. The 41 machine of Mark Shepard also in there as we've got a little bit of a car park as Ray's gone absolutely nowhere off the start. That's heavily, heavily inconvenient to state champ who's dropped back to fourth place as a result. But Lance Beaver leads in a turn number one and uh, three and four for the first time. The side by side for second and third between Smith and Shepard as they come across the line. Mark Shepard has come from the back of the field to be already challenging for the race lead as uh, Brendan Fagan pulls to the infield in the 26 car as Beaver gets all out of shape and hands it to Mark Shepard on a silver platter. So Shepard now leads in a turn number three from Lance Beaver. Then we go back to the 58 car of Daryl Smith. Rounding out your top four is that of uh, Grant Campbell. Then we go back to Wayne Bingham. The 13 car still blowing smoke out of the back is the 13 of Jake Jury. And Chris Ray rounds out your runners here in heat race number two of the Super Modifieds. So they race through turn number three and four under the blazing sunshine here in Cole. It's another 30 degree scorcher on a Saturday afternoon as your state champ makes a move to the inside of the 58 car of uh, Daryl Smith. He's not gonna be able to make it stick that time around. He's gonna continue to show the nose going into turn number three, but Smith will hold on to third for the moment from Grant Campbell. Then we go back to Wayne Bingham in the 23 machine. So they move through turn number one. Bingham now wants a piece of the action. He's on the back bars of the number one as they race down the back straight. Smith once again gets out of shape on the exit turn number two. Campbell's gonna try and look to go on the outside. Can't find anything there either. So it's an almighty battle pack for the final third, fourth and fifth as Campbell now rages up on the outside of Daryl Smith. They'll be side by side through one and two on the inside, but it will be Campbell on the top, who scorches past, Wayne Bingham follows, so it's a nightmare of a corner for a Smith who's dropped back to fifth place, as that's Beaver running very, very poorly in the 14 car, and he's well and truly about to be swallowed by your state champion, Grant Campbell, as they race down the back straight. Meanwhile, Mark Shepard's gone, you can forget about him, he's home and hose. But Lance Beaver with a very poor running engine. It's about to be spinged upon by a state champ who goes to the outside as Bingham makes a mistake on the exit turn number four. That opens the door for Daryl Smith to sweep around the outside and move back into uh, what is fourth place for the moment. Bingham tries to fight back. This is the battle for fourth and fifth, which he does. The 23 car hits, uh, takes back fourth place. Smith's gonna try and fight back, but he hasn't got an answer for the 23 car this time around. Your race leader is out by a whole straight length. The 41 machine of Mark Shepard is walking away with this one with one more lap to go for the Shepard scrap medal entry. He's a long way out in front from Grant Campbell, who's in second place. Lance Beaver still holding on to third from Daryl Smith and Wayne Bingham rounding out your top five. But how about this, ladies and gentlemen? It's been another dominant performance in the Super Mods. Mark Shepard, he claims heat race number two. All the Super Modifieds a long way back to your state champ of Grant Campbell, who will come home in second place. Lance Beaver has managed to hold on to third place. Fourth goes away of Daryl Smith from Wayne Bingham, who will go in hammer and tongs all race. Then we go back to the 13, with a lot of smoke coming out of the exhaust of that machine of Jake Jury. And rounding out your runners, one lap off the pace will be the 87 of Chris Ray, with Brendan Fagan in the 26, failing to complete two laps of the eight lap distance. So that's how they finished heat race number two of our Super Modifieds. And it was a dominant performance from car number 41. Joining the field here tonight, it goes to Mark Shepard here in heat race number two.